Is it? Is it? Is it coming home? Is it? Is it coming home? Is football coming home? Like, look, before anybody gets angry in the comments, it's probably not because we're probably going to get rammed by Mbappe in a few days. But let me just have this little... It's the hope that kills you. Let me just have this little bit. I've got to show you, quick before we get into it, <laughs> this, this comment, this this chat, brief chat I had on Twitter. Um, it's It was just silly. It's not like nobody send any hate or anything. Um... It's just bizarre, and it, it's a great example of Twitter, right? It's a great example of Twitter. I'm going to show you it to you now, right? So I tweeted, because it was true, Henderson is a man possessed tonight. Like, he, he was playing like he did for Liverpool, like, maybe 18 months ago when he was at his prime. Um, brilliant stuff and excellent leadership as always. That is why Gareth trusts him, why Klopp trusts him. He's not... not he's, Good on the ball, but he's not the most technically gifted. He's not the sexiest of footballers, but that's never been why he gets games. I think that's factually correct. I don't, like, he was great tonight. He's not the most technically gifted, but he keeps getting picked by Gareth when it's important games, and he keeps getting back. Right? All good. Right? So then uh, Gary here says, uh, the French will never have an easier game next week, which... I'm not saying that England favourites. I haven't even mentioned France, but I'm like, okay... That's obviously not true. I'm sure at some point France have played easier opponents than England, right? So well, that's why I just sort of dropped the okay buddy gif. Like, okay, yeah, okay. And so that was kind of it, left it. And then uh, I got this. You're deluded if you think England played the same, then the French won't score at least five. I've not even mentioned the game. At this point, and I just replied, "What I, what did I even say about the French? I've, I've, I've have I mentioned that England will beat France? I haven't even mentioned the game. You're arguing with yourself." Uh, to which he replied, "Okay, buddy." So then I, I just dropped her. I accept your apology, GIF. Uh, <laughs> Twitter's weird, isn't it? For me, all I tweeted was Henderson's really good, essentially. And he's like, you're going to get smacked and then we're going to have an easier game. It's a bizarre world. Twitter is a bizarre place. Nothing to do with Elon Musk. It's always been a bizarre place. Oh, football people are weird. But it is coming home. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back. You'll be pleased to hear that Kevin Iboka is here, the Angolan legend. He's also Congolese and English. He, can, he knows Portuguese, uh, Kikongo, English, French, and Lingala. Yeah, I know all those languages. Absolutely effluent in all those languages. Right, Estevez is taking a lot. We've come back for the very next game because, well, we lost the first one, so I'm worried... It felt like we got FM'd a bit, so I'm gonna we're gonna sit the next two and see how we get on, and then kick on in the season. The transfer window is closed. Really annoying. My uh, model sitter, my perfectionist here that I really like as a player. He's gonna become a good tutor as well. He there's inklings of him wanting a new contract, right? It says in the information. He's like, oh, okay. I was like, actually, yeah. Let's give him a new contract. Let's get him set. He's got a couple of years left. But let's set him down. He's currently got a £5 million release clause. I go into a contract and his agent has set that you cannot... We want a release clause of £57,000. Uh, no. <laughs> There's no way around it. So he's just going to have to suck it up until he starts kicking up a fuss and then we'll work it out. Right, we're going with pretty much the same team other than you... Do do we uh, do we chuck him in? Do we chuck him in? Sink or swim. He's been. He's played. I think he's played in Portugal his entire time, right? Played all sorts. Yeah, the championship, the second league, all over the spot. Yeah, he's ready. He's ready. I'm, I want to see how he does. We're gonna throw him in. The goalkeeper needs to play a little bit better than his debut. Six point three. But obviously, joking, I, the, the it's coming home thing is a bit of a you know, joke and stuff like that. Like, it's just fun to say because we never it never comes home. That's the irony of it. So it's fun to say. I think we're as a good a chance as anyone. Like, we're in the hat. We could win it. We could get easily knocked out by France because, you know, Mbappe and Giroud, they're, you know, they're pretty decent. 
but it's nice to see that we're playing all right. Who knew that England could play four at the back and still do well? Everybody. Everybody knew that. <laughs> everybody. Ronaldo. Right. If we like lose again... Oh, it's done him. If we lose again today... Yes! Somebody told me what that little C thing with the little willy says in the comments, and now I just can't remember what it was he says about it. Did he say it was an S? I can't remember. Leave me another comment saying exactly the same thing and I'll forget it again. Mira cuts it across. Is it it's close? To yeah. Super Mario! Two strikers linking up well. Got a good partnership brewing here. They could, they could do it. I don't think they're ever going to be like top players, but they could this division and be solid next division, I think, because they should improve with us. Right, 1-0. Good percent. Look at that possession, 70%. Okay. I'm going to do this because that colours hurt my brain. Okay, that's that's a bit more like it. I quite like with the with the having the options here, having the passes to see where it all breaks down. I like that. If you are enjoying this series, please do leave a like. It helps with the YouTube crowd doing I hate asking, but you kind of have to. Um, also, today's question of the day, which I've forgotten the last few episodes, is it's about vegetables. Not what's your favourite vegetable, because nobody has a favourite vegetable, because vegetables are disgusting. If you could make one vegetable so it ceased to exist, what vegetable would it be? What is so disgusting that it should never have existed as a foodstuff in the first place? My gut feeling when I thought about this question was tomato. But actually, I don't. I like tomato ketchup and I can have a tomato pizza base. It's just the actual tomatoes that disgust me. So they have a purpose. However, there is one vegetable that serves zero purpose, tastes disgusting... And the only way you're supposed to cook it well is to basically disguise the fact that it tastes disgusting and then apparently it's fine. And that is the Christmas favourite, Brussels sprouts. Don't at me. It's, ju it's just true. All right, okay. Iboka has got a yellow card and he's not playing that good. Good, good solid debut, mate. Good, a solid debut. We'll bring you off just because you're on the yellow. Um, Kalunga's going to be away on international duty for a couple of weeks tomorrow. So, Ribeiro's coming on, the youngster. Yeah, Brussels sprouts. Absolute wrong ones. Like, oh, no, no, no. It's just you need to cook them properly. So, you need to just fry them up. You need some garlic butter. You need all these things to disguise the, the flavour. Well, just cook a brick then. You know? What about starting with something that tastes nice and adding to it? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm genuinely interested because I'm not a big fan of veg. I'm a, I'm a strictly... Peas, carrots, man. Yeah? Wow, this is actually quite... We've been... The better team, without being absolutely dominant. But enough. Right, um... Let's get Vera on. Oh, you take a bit of a knock so we won't bother with you. And let's... The fullbacks have played well. But also, let's keep them fit because they they generally get quite tired. They do a lot of running. All right, Marcus the second. What's he got in his locker? Big throw. Big throw. Lovely. Ribeiro. Loves, lovely. Lovely. Oh! That was deserved an assist. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. And again, let's get a second goal, just kill it off so we don't have to worry about... Is he on? He is! <laughs> he just looked like a mile offside. He's standing on his own so much. There must have been a fullback player him on or something. Yeah, just everybody got like drawn towards the ball and Ribeiro just peels away. And it's a delightful header in off the post for the 15-year-old. Sensational stuff. 
So aside from the, the football and stuff, I hope everyone's having a, a wonderful week. Had a wonderful weekend. I'm actually filming this at 12.45 a.m. on Monday morning. Because my sleeping pattern got all messed up. <clears throat> so I thought, I'm going to be sleeping during the day. So therefore, I probably... Oh, we're okay. We're okay. Oh. Damn! Living up to his namesakes. Okay, that's that's... A hell of a finish. We were fine, right? It's 93rd minute. We're good. Look at this for a finish. Over the shoulder. Oh! Oh, outside of the boot for a little bit of extra fruitiness. Well done, boys. Good result. Would have liked a clean sheet, but everybody played pretty well. We're all good. All right, let's go play this next one and see if this is how we play now. Ribeiro is the youngest ever goal scorer. Only, though, he's just turned 16. 16, day, 16 years and three days. He only beat it by four days. This fella. Oh, he's, he's, he's still... Oh my. How is he worth eight? How is that the value? Like, he's decent. I guess he could be good. Nice, boys. And also, we've uh, sold the season tickets. Look at that! We're on the up! All the plastics are coming flooded in! H doubled over doubled our season tickets. Lovely stuff. Right, so I've been doing some learning. It's never too old to learn, people. So, when a C appears before an A, O, or U, it's pronounced like the C, it's pronounced like the C in cut. So it would be Goncalo, right? Yeah? And when it's before an E or an I, it's pronounced like the S in bus. So Gonzalo, right? But when it's got a Sedilla accent, which is that little willy on it, right? It's always pronounced like the C in bus. So it's gone sallow. Odds on me remembering that? Slim to none. We've got some international duties. Uh, Ibuks is uh, with the under 23s. That's fine. Vinny can come back in. We've got centre backs coming out of our arse now. I'm not. Do I like have him or do I have him? It's probably slightly worse, but improving. It's the tash that annoys me. It's like he just hit puberty and was like, I can grow a tash. Just because you can grow a tash doesn't mean you should. By the way, look at my beard. It looks like a fucking sedilla. <laughs> Doesn't it? Right? A little bit. Stay, stay over there. Right. Hang on. Let me fix it. Yeah, I've just gone full homeless man. Look. Right. So Columbus away on international. The youngest ever goal scorer is coming on though in his place. And then Marcus the third can come in. We're going to bring Vera on. They're going to sort of share game time this season. I think Vera's going to probably play the big games. And I want to keep the strike partnership. If they're just doing well, then we will carry on. Right. Win this game comfortably, and then I'll feel a bit more relaxed about the season coming, right? Go out there and impress me. Okay. We're playing BRGB. BRGB, yep. Like a Chinese knockoff RGB. The BRGB. It's the British <laughs> red, green, blue. Right. Let's do it. I'm still not sold on this skin. I might I might remove it. Because the problem is, when you're blind, like me, so you play zoomed in a bit, 150%, the game... It, the game is built for that to happen. They're like, okay, scale everything back, you know, zoom it in a bit, but everything still fits, blah, blah, blah. The skins, however, are designed for one purpose, just to improve the current 100%. Go on, Vera. Oh, 100%. And so some things are broken. No, through no fault of the skin creators, but just because I like, because I'm blind. Um, because there's the fact I can't see the current ability and potential ability of any, when I look at a player... Annoys me somewhat. So my, my, I might uh, be back to the default. Okay. How many? So we've had four block shots. Have we had too many long shots? Yeah, we've had no long shots. Okay, nothing to worry about there, boys. Only 40% possession, though. Okay. Have we, though? No, no, we need more possession. All right. Um, got Carvalho as well. 
Okay, let's bring the bear row in. Let's give go. Come on, he's he's like a very exciting player. Do we try him on the left? See how he goes. Is is, is his finishing any like? I was gonna say, is his finishing any good? To be fair, ribeiro has got four finishing. It's maybe one of his slime weak points. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'll just stick to Carvalho on the right for now. Mm, no, no. We're going to bed this youngster in. He's going to become a superstar for us. Here we go. Vera with it. Goes near post. Flick. Oh, I thought that was in. The, the net ripples. Too much. It confuses me. There is one thing... That I've discovered since the patch, and this is actually not since the patch, this is since the game came out, that really annoys me. Um, and that is, oh, that's lovely. Get in there, beautiful stuff. And that is free kicks from like the edge of the box, like within like two or three yards of the edge of the box. If they're anywhere in, it's essentially. I call it. I now call it a penalty free kick because they just go in all the time. The game doesn't show anyone where they don't go in. <laughs> I'm just noticing as soon as somebody gets one on the edge of the box, you're like, "Oh fuck, that's that's a goal." It's like a penalty, but the goalkeeper's not allowed to save it. It's even better than a penalty. They just need to show somewhere it goes wide, just so you don't know what's happening. Right, pings it out to Abel. Right, building from the back. All right, I like this. I'm fine with this. This is good. Do need to... Yep, we're just drawing him into us. Mario's dropping deep to get hold of the ball a little bit. Thomas cuts it back to Ribeiro. Out to Abel. Down the line to Ribeiro, the youngster. Plays it back to Abel. Drives forward into a little bit of space. Tries a little through ball. Mario's dropped down to pick it up. He's going to cut it back surely. No, goes back post. Vera's there. That's unlucky. Steady on, Neandro. Hit it. Oh, you have to hit that on the volley. Come on, FIFA rules. Nice. Yes. Like it. Unlucky, Mario. Good. M much better second half. We looked a bit more potent. Um, let I want to give this guy some game time because he's a very good striker. Ribeiro. How's the young boy doing? Much better. How's the tiredness? We'll go for a little bit longer. Another five minutes or so. Oh, another goal. Goal will be fine. I'll, I'll change it up. Lovely. Ribeiro on his unfavoured right foot. But it doesn't matter. Five, four finishing on his wrong foot. Doesn't care. That's what he does. Is he, for the you old schoolers, is he the next Lee Madison? Some of you will know what I mean. And I think that was his name. Can't be entirely sure, because age. But is he? Is he the next Madison? Right. I think we'll just keep doing what we've been doing. It seems to have worked, is that just take off both fullbacks with 20 to go. And Estevez can come on. <clears throat> yeah, this is what happens when I don't, I don't style my beard. It likes to go whoop. Off like a whiff off to one side. Nice. Oh, he does. He looks dangerous. Great second half. I'm even going to give him some, some rare praise. Normally when I do that, they score. That'd be good. Got a set piece. If I make a sub, is it is it going to disappear? Bernardo, back post. Ooh. This is a good win. I like this win. They've started the season all right. We're going to be good. We're going to be at least decent. We should be in at least... I feel like we're in at least the playoff part of this. We're going to be in the playoff parts. I do like this screen better, but, but there's there's other stuff like with this with the skin, like it just shows current ability and potential ability as one star for everybody, which is just annoying. It's not that bad, but it's annoying, and you can't make it bigger. 
You can't put it because it's part of the attributes screen, so I can't move it. I can't select it somewhere else. Can I? No, because there's not enough options here. What about like a transfer? No, that's transfer status. That's just a. <laughs> Actually, that's one thing I wanted to do. Uh, lovely. That's not that useful. It's a little bit small. Right. So. I think it's safe to say this was just a freak incident. And it's also safe to say that there's a chance Ribeiro wins the Ballon d'Or. I'm just putting it out there now. It's, it's good, to, you know, to visualise what your goals are. Right, there we go, my friends. Please do leave a like. And, but more importantly, which vegetable should never have existed? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.